Namaskar and Salaam Alaikum. Yesterday what happened at TEDx Khartoum was really unfortunate. Event was stopped in between by the government agencies. So that's why today I'm going to give you the talk about the same idea which I was going to share with Sudanese people yesterday. It's all about the knowledge sharing. So the first thing is about sharing the information whatever we have with the world and the second important aspect is whatever information is available globally making sure that that information is available to each and every citizen in our country. So we will just talk about these two main aspects. The first is about the documentation part. If I know something, I need to share it with someone. We have the pyramids here in Sudan. Sudan is having a very rich and diverse culture. You might have come to know about the culture from the grandparents or from the books. Now it's the 21st century. How our next generation is going to learn about the past as well as current scenario. We need to share whatever is going on or whatever we have on the global and online platform. That's how we are going to sustain our culture in today's digital world. And the second important aspect is if we want to make a progress, just make sure that the, and there are various aspects to it. We will talk about this later on. So Wikipedia is one of the platform where you can share your knowledge for free of cost. At the same time, you can gain the global knowledge. Let's see what, how exactly Wikipedia works. Wikipedia is having around 26, Wikipedia is having around 26 plus million articles in 286 different languages. World's 5% population reads Wikipedia. It is the fifth most visited website in the world. It started in 2001 and it's 12 year old. 400 million unique visitors per month and around 11.7 billion page requests per month. This is, this is the how big Wikipedia is. And so many people get confused about the Wikipedia philosophy, how it works, how, who writes the Wikipedia. Let me just give you a simple example. We are building a house and I want to decorate my hall. I just want to make it like more beautiful. I can do it by two ways. The first, I can decorate my hall on my own. I can ask my friends, I can ask the, I hire someone to do it. Second option which I have is I will open the hall and I will ask the community to come participate and decorate the hall. There are various possibilities. The first possibility is of course people will neglect. Why I have to care about your hall, I will do something else that is also for free. Second aspect is people may come in, they will decorate the hall and go back. In third scenario, people might steal something, they will damage the whatever existing system is there. Now relate the same example with Wikipedia. Think of Wikipedia as a platform where it is open for everyone so people can share their knowledge. Like the open hall, people might ignore it or people will come in and then they will decorate the hall. And that is how it works. Someone comes in, they just do single edit. Then some another one comes in, hey, this is nice, I know something more than that. And this is how it grows. So when we say there is something available on Wikipedia, Wikipedia is not a person that someone, one person is editing something or there is a paid employee. It's just a platform like a blank hall. And if you know something, you can come and share your ideas. So the simple question to who writes Wikipedia, it's like people like me and you. And there are so many readers for the Wikipedia throughout the globe. If you write onto your Facebook, Twitter or blog, how many people read it? Your friends, family, followers. Let's see how many people actually read specific article on Wikipedia. I will just share an example. Okay, just. I will just share an example with you. Let's see an article about Sudan. So here is the article about Sudan. 
you can see it is having a nice info box, the lead section, then the content box, there is history, the few pictures of the Sudan, it is very well written and in the end you can see the references with a lot of uh, and the references. References are very important and essential in Wikipedia. So, so many people ask how many, how to know that how many people are actually reading this article or have read the article in past 30 days. So, just take a random guess how many people have might have read the Sudan article on Wikipedia 5, 10, 100, 200, let us see how many people have actually seen this article. It has been seen by 94,934 times in last 30 days. So, this is the huge traffic which Wikipedia content gets. Let us just see one of the popular articles, let us just see how many hits Facebook page is getting. Once again you can see it is well developed article, it is having the images, photos, references. The Facebook has been viewed this much time that is 19,84,845 times in the last 30 days. So, this shows us that if you even make a single edit onto the Sudan or any other Wikipedia article page, it is visible to so much so many people. And again what most of the people think is I am have a busy schedule and Wikipedia articles are so huge, I do not have that much time to go there and make edit and so what about that. So, even if you know a sentence what you can do is just to start with a line that is how the Wikipedia article start. Let us just see how Wikipedia article about Sudan got developed. So, here when we go, go to the view history, so here is a Sudan article, you click on view history, you can see the whole, how many people have contributed to it. At the same time each and every revision is saved, so you can see, let us see when this article was started. We can see the article was started on 28th May 2001, let us see how it looked at that time. You can just see someone just started a page, not wikified, then 2002 someone came in and someone added more links, human rights issues. Then in 2003, again it was like that, in 2004 someone added an info box, map, history, politics, just names that is it and a map of the Sudan. And So, this is how, how it grows. Now, it started in 2001 and by the time the 2004 it got a map. Now, the person who started in 2001 just started it with one line and today we can see how well developed it is. We can see it is having the everything, it is having map, it is having information, it is having photos and a lot of references. So, this is the beauty of the Wikipedia. When you write on Wikipedia, you are not alone, whole world is there to write with you, whole world is there to support you. If you know something, just start with a line, give reference, save, as simple as that. Two years back, I was in United States and just to see what is there around me like visitor spots or tourism spots, I just googled it and I got a lot of information. I saw there was information about thousand year old monument, at the same time there was a page on Wikipedia about a street which was built just few years ago. So, this was interesting, I said what people might be doing if they come to my city, visit my city. So, I am coming from a city named as Pune, it is a city in a state progressive state Maharashtra in India and it is also cultural capital of the state. 
When I searched about Pune, it just showed me few typical pictures of the city and very few information about the historical monuments in the city. This was surprising because Pune is having one of the oldest civilizations and it's the culture is rich. So I said we need to change this. What is the main reason behind this? Main reason is people are unaware that they can actually edit the world's biggest encyclopedia or it is their responsibility to do it. It's as simple as that. If I am not going to represent my culture onto the web, who is going to do it? So, two years back, we started a group called as Wikipedia Club Pune. Now, Wikipedia Club Pune is a group of passionate people who just want to represent their city onto the globe and world's biggest encyclopedia. In order to uh, have more photos about Wikipedia, Pune on Wikipedia, we said like decorating the hall. We were having two options, either go throughout the city and take the photos or ask the community to share the photos. So, we come up with this. Do you like Wikipedia? Do you love your Pune? If yes, come and join us at Pune's biggest photo walk event. Wikipedia takes Pune. Like in marathon, people run from point 1 to po last point, point A to point B. At photo walk, all the photographers will come together. They will go to different parts of the city. They will capture the photographs. In the evening, they will come together and they will share the photographs. People said it's a crazy concept because photographers love to have their copyright marks onto the photographs and when they donate the photographs to the Wikimedia Commons or Wikipedia, they are donating it in the public domain. They cannot have the rights more, but at the same time, it can be used by each and everyone. And there is no money involved in this, no one gets anything. They just, it's just a simple message. If you believe in what we believe, we believe our city deserves a better recognition on a global scale, join us. So we, uh, we had a very nice strategy with the team, we just say, contacted the media, colleges, institutes and just asked them to donate the photos on particular day that come, morning, come in the morning and donate your photos. So we had the media coverage, Wikipedia photo walk to capture city's heritage. Then this is the headlines that in the Indian Express that with its photo walk, the Wikipedia Club Pune aims to represent the city on the global platform by putting up their pictures on their Wikipedia page. So even media was very cooperative about this. Then there was a mention on the local news channels also. And this is the team which worked for the event along with the photographers. And can you imagine on a Sunday how many people turned up and how many photographs we collected? Within 5 hours, on 7th of October 2012, people donated 5,000 photographs. It was itself a history. And people just came in the morning, there is no incentive for them, it's just the same vision. I have the camera, I know how to take a photo. I will donate the photo in the internet for the society, so people can see my city very well. It worked out very well. So, that, so as I stated in the beginning, there are two aspects. The first aspect is sharing the knowledge whatever we know onto the globe, at the same time getting the global knowledge to the each and every common citizen, including ourselves. The first important challenge in India, we have so many challenges including the electricity, Internet problem, 70% India, 70% India lives in rural side. Now rural area is, there is very less, very few people know how to speak English and all the Wikipedia or global knowledge is available in English. So this is the one of the biggest challenge. We need to make sure that the global content is available in the regional languages. Fortunately, Wikipedia exists in 22 different Indian languages. So basically from where I am, that's the Pune city and Mumbai Pune, the local language is Marathi. So we said let's work on Marathi language. We will just go to the English Wikipedia article, we will learn and we will translate those, uh, that information onto the Marathi Wikipedia. So the people who cannot understand English will be able to access the global knowledge. And recently this 1st of May 2013, Marathi Wikipedia completed 
10 years. So, Marathi Wiki, it was 10th anniversary of Marathi Wikipedia and it worked out very well, even there was a coverage that Marathi Wikipedia gets a boost. So, again in this case, it was about sending out that message. What excites people is, and in 21st century also, people want to share as well as donate their time for a good cause. The only thing is that people are unaware about it. And this is the brilliant platform that if someone is coming to our country or city, when they go on internet, they should get the quality information about our culture, everything. So this was the one aspect about the language. The second barrier is so many people don't even have the access to internet or visual barrier, visual impairment. You can see me, I can see you. Think about the people who just cannot see, they have the visual problems, the people who are blind. Does this mean that we need to restrict whatever global knowledge we have just for the people who can read and grasp the knowledge? We need to find something else. So, Spoken Wikipedia is a, already an active, wiki, uh, active project on English Wikipedia. So, we said, let's have the Spoken Wikipedia for Indian languages. Then again, we had the same strategy. Let's, who is going to do it? Let's call the community to help us out. So, we said we will do an one day event, Wikipedia Summit Pune, where people will come, to, uh, come together, they will record, the, they will donate their voice. And these recorded articles will be shared with the world later on for free of cost. So, people who are unable to read can get the knowledge. People have difficulty in understanding or understanding or reading can gain the knowledge. So, that's how we started this and the mail spoken Wikipedia for Indian languages. And our motto was spoken Wikipedia to empower India. Message was simple, you just come together, donate your voice. You can see this is from the spoken Wikipedia to empower India. And this is the team photo which worked together to make sure make this happen. So, all it comes down to if we want to make this world a better place, we need to make sure each and every individual is having equal access to the knowledge. Just imagine Sudan where each and everyone is having access to the global knowledge at the same time we can share whatever we have with the world. This is really important. If we want to make our country a better place, in India, we are working on various level. Same things can be implemented in Sudan. So, the, each and every citizen of the country can get the equal access to the knowledge irrespective of the language or disability. So, we believe knowledge should be free and accessible to all. Technology, language or disability should not be a barrier. So, let's work together to make this place a better place. Thank you.